discussed and uh, so I am going to cover uh, exceptions today and uh, go to your UI path studio, uh, create on uh, new process and name it like exceptions, exception handling, okay. You also do the same exception handlings, okay and copy this and paste it here, click create, okay. So, if I say exceptions and you have to understand what is exception and what are the exception types are there uh, in this uh, uh, at, at the time of process development, okay. So, if I am no, let us say you know I am uh, doing some, uh, uh, I am interacting with the application and uh, so while interacting with that application, I may you know get some uh, not responding error or I may not able to interact with that uh, particular uh, application. So, that is called acceptance, okay. So, it is not allowing me to uh, do further uh, action, okay. So, that time it is you know creating some issues that is called exceptions as you guys know, right. And what are the exception types are there? There are two types of exceptions. <coughs> One is system exceptions. <coughs> And other one is application, sorry, uh, system exceptions or business exceptions, okay. So, if I say system exceptions and uh, it will, the exception comes from the system or application. We can, uh, know, uh, we can say either uh, system exception or application exception, okay. It, the exception will be produced by the application only, okay. That is called system exception. And if I say business exception, that is you no know, uh, that will be uh, considered from a client or consider you no know, uh, from a input let's say you have a uh, um, uh, input okay uh, with an excel let's say um, uh, the phone number uh, um, scenario okay you have a thousand phone numbers uh, into your uh, excel spreadsheet and uh, so there uh, you need to uh, you are you no know, uh, handling that input right so, if the phone number is greater than or less than uh, 10 digit or 12 digit and uh, that means you no, know, it is called uh, business exceptions or else when you are you no know, uh, taking that phone number and if you are entering into a website and there will be a you no, know, uh, you know the use case right. So, there will be um, customer name and the customer address. If that uh, particular phone number not showing any result that is called a business exception because we uh, the, the client given us a input and we entered that input into that particular application, but that input is that application not allowing, uh, allowing to take it, okay. So, that is called business exceptions, okay. Now, we are going to cover uh, all application or system exceptions in this uh, mm, session, okay and uh, go on create a uh, new sequence okay and that is called uh, exceptions a system exception system exception okay click create and i have created a yeah, system exception new workflow okay let's say i'm going to interact with the application here i want to open this application okay then after that i want to enter some username in this uh, field okay so uh, i am going back to uh, studio and go to activity uh, panel and here uh, drag and drop uh, open uh, browser so i am going with a modern activity uh, use application browser activity and click on indicate okay once you click on indicate just uh, indicate uh, your browser okay that is done now, I am going to type some username, right. If I type username there, okay, use type into activity and indicate the place where you want to enter your username, okay. Then click confirm, okay. Here, let us say username is student, okay. So, that is the username, right, student, okay. And so, now you see if you highlight this, okay, edit target, if you validate this, it can able to highlight. So, I am going to change my selector, you know, wantedly because let us say 
uh, now you are you know this month is uh, you know february and this month you are you know uh, developing this bot and maybe after 6 month or an year after an year and the page got changed you know some the ui uh, got changed that time this you, uh, whatever you captured the selector it won't work okay so in that case let's say no they, they uh, i think they added like you know uh, after username and uh, they add a like no test login after a year okay test login if i click validate and still it can validate and i will change the here also test login test login validate and take it image and validate i think still it is validating okay because i want to uh, I want to make it this error, okay, as a error. So class input, let's say I will add one more T here, validate, and it is a validation cannot be performed if the current selection is invalid, okay. Now it is not validated, okay. I will click confirm. So let's see. So you capture the right element only, okay, at the time of your development. But after a couple of uh, years, the page got changed and also the selector also got changed. Okay. And if you run this bot, uh, run this workflow now, definitely it will throw an error. Okay. Can I run and uh, see the errors and uh, go here in the debug, click on run file. Okay. See the page is visible when the bot is trying to enter the username. At, will, at, at the time, it will uh, no, throw an error, okay? Let's see what the error is it's throwing. Now you see, there is a runtime execution error source type into username guys keep it uh, keep this you know uh, in your mind and the source is type into which means source which activity the error is thrown okay and uh, the message okay the exception message uh, we have uh, seen that right we have added some uh, exception source and exception message at the time of you uh, know creating a uh, uh, email notification right so this is called exception source and this is called exception message there is an exception message could not find the user intra interface ui element for this action possible reason uh, ensure application is open and the ui element is visible on the screen at the execution time so there are a uh, few uh, possible uh, solutions here you can try try this solution to uh, resolve this issue okay but here if I run this, I'm immediately getting this error, okay? Because the bo uh, the bot is throwing this runtime execution window. It should not be, because my bot should not uh, show like this error on the production machine. See, if it is thrown like this, it will be uh, there on the screen as it is, okay? So now click on OK. Now how I am going to handle this? Hey, if there is any error and do not throw this error and uh, instead of that and uh, catch this error and uh, use that error using send email uh, or uh, to notify to the user through log messages okay now that is the one i am going to cover it now to handle the exception there is a activity called try catch okay try catch so that you see the error handling so under the error handling Under the error handling, you can see try catch. Go to main, okay, and drag and drop try catch, okay. Now, and uh, this is the system exception, right? And uh, go here in the project panel, just drag and drop this system exception, okay. And so, here I'm telling, hey, go and execute this system exception invoke workflow. And if you get any error, come back. And go to catch block. So there are three block. One is try and catch and finally. So this try is the place where you can 
place all your uh, workflow you can place or you can invoke your workflow and the catch block is if there is any exception in this particular workflow and that exception will be catched and then it will be stored into this place i mean in this system exception let's say you know i'm going to choose system exception here and if i click here so i can tell that hey i got a exception and uh, uh, what do you want to uh, know using that ex exception so yes i want to send an email notification uh, so what are the exception uh, created by the bot and that i want to notify to the user uh, let's say now i am going to uh, drag and drop as an activity okay so this is system exception okay and nothing it's very simple i am going to create a variable uh, system exception okay enter and go to variable panel okay here you see system exception change this uh, variable data type as a uh, system exception okay sorry exceptions okay under system you can see exception data type okay now here i call the same exception here okay which means i transfer this exception into this system exception variable okay and uh, keep it in this uh, no keep it this uh, variable name and uh, you will be used uh, this name in the future also okay and drag and drop here in the one more as an activity this is to capture uh, source okay and exception source and here i'm going to create one more variable exception source which is string okay here in the value field i can uh, call system exception which is uh, this variable then dot source okay if you type s yes, and then press control space bar or it will automatically come this drop down source okay then drag and drop one more as an activity and create a variable and uh, this is for exception message exception message okay so here let me go here and add system exception dot message okay that's it so now i can put some uh, right line here here and one more right line here and uh, call your system system exception source and here uh, exception message here okay so there will be a difference no if i run this workflow from the main there will be difference so previously if i run it here uh, no from only in this workflow ah uh, okay you will get uh, the error like uh, unable to interact and also you will get a pop up window right but once you use the try catch and it will not notify anything through the pop up window okay it will just catch that error and it will you know store into uh, store it into system exception i mean um, as a source and the message then we can use that variable wherever we want okay now you see it's thrown error okay now let me go to main okay and i will run from here okay in this uh, main workflow click on run now you see there is no pop up okay instead of pop up it catches and it went to this exception block okay it catches the error then it went to this uh, this catch block and we have used this right line right go and check your output panel see here uh, the exception uh, source is type into username and then exception message is the same message okay so if i want to uh, send the email with the same thing i can use that uh, send email notification workflow i can drag and drop that send email notification workflow here and i can pass this exception source and exception message inside it okay that i that also i will show you so as of now just uh yeah this is all about 
uh, system exceptions okay how to capture exceptions so if there is any error on that particular uh, activity uh, that is called system exceptions okay and uh, that will be uh, captured here uh, in the in the try block and uh, it, i mean it will it will be captured here in the catch block okay then we can use further uh, we can invoke and use further activities okay